out the rest of your day with this relatively dry air mass still. We cool off fast. We warm up quickly. That's going to start to change though as we get later in the week and adding more and more moisture. But for the meantime, we warm up quickly. 77 at noon, 82 at 5. Very seasonable for this time of year for where we should be at this point in August. Notice that sunset though. 8:59. We continue to see our daylight shrink away. Yesterday was our last nine o'clock sunset, and we won't see another one of those until May 16th next year. So today, 8:59. By the end of the month, we're talking 8:18. We lose about two to two and a half minutes of daylight each and every day. Now this is the time of year that we really quickly will lose that daylight. I think you notice it most when our uh, sunsets get earlier and earlier. Overnight tonight, though, mostly clear, still very comfortable. 59 degrees is where we'll drop back to. And now we're going to start to add in more and more of that moisture into our air mass. You're going to start to really notice that stickiness and mugginess on Monday and even more so over the weekend as we get into that oppressive air mass. And when we add in this humidity, we're going to start to introduce our next shower and storm chances. Some upper level troughs coming through as tomorrow will still remain on the dry side. But by Friday afternoon, I think even early afternoon, we can see these scattered showers and storms. Nothing expected to be severe, but you want to keep your umbrella and raincoat handy throughout Friday and then parts of the weekend. So for Friday and could even linger into early Saturday morning, we could see about a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall, but the better chance for more rainfall will be Sunday overnight into Monday. So there's the first couple of days of your full seven day forecast again, getting a little bit warmer each and every day. 84 tomorrow, 82 on Friday. That cloud cover and rain chance will kind of keep our temperatures at bay a bit on Friday, but then Saturday majority of the day is on the dry side 84 and look at that heat for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday 90, 87 and 89 will be humid along the way as well as Sunday overnight into Monday, our best shower and storm chance.